everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. And out of this world, I'm your host, Elias, and it's great to have you here as always. Today, we're going to be talking about many different things, really cool things, including something very disgusting. The most disgusting... <sighs> welcome to Smart Robots Review. And I have a special guest today with me, <laughs> Sandy. Come on here. So um, we're going to be talking about roaches with Sandy, but not the kind you think we're going to be talking about. <laughs> so, Sandy, welcome to the show. Thank you for being. Thank you for having me. And today we're going to be talking about. We said roaches, right? Yeah. Um, but first of all, how, how have you been? I, I've been good. I actually just got back from NASA a second time, I'm um, which was amazing. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, I got to see another launch um and then an extra little piece too that i'll i'll talk about in a bit here oh man <laughs> yeah i'm jealous okay so um let's see what i wanted to share with everybody was roaches so uc berkeley they're they've been researching on creating robotic ro roaches now for a long time but this one is a really cool one i, I don't know if i think i missed it before but this is a roach that you can step on and it keeps on going just uh, like the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to play the video here. Uh, video. Ch -ch -ch. Okay, that's gross. That's a real roach. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. So this is a video from Berkeley. Squishability. Ugh. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> a cockroach-inspired roach. Can't be stepped on. Oh, don't do that, poor roach. Actually, no, that's good. Squash it. <laughs> Squash it. Yeah, still going. Yeah. yeah. Versions of the robot weigh 20. Oh, wow, that's really small, right? That's incredible. <laughs> it's a quick getaway. They're fast, like real roaches. I'm really impressed. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. Yeah. Never thought I'd call a roach cute of any kind, even remember. robotic, but that was kind of cute. <laughs> oh, it looks, looks like aluminum foil or something. Here. It does. It looks like those space blankets. Space blankets, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. AC voltage causes thin layer of piezo. Which uh, yeah, go ahead and pronounce piezo. that. Piezo. Piezo? Piezo. piezo. <laughs> uh, the expansion and contraction huh. is converted into bending and straightening by an elastic polymer layer. That is incredible. It looks really cool in slow motion. Leapfrog, yeah. Huh. I wonder what the applications with something like this is going to be. Scaring your little brother? Yeah. <laughs> or sending it into, if you can put like a micro camera, sending it into a building and do rubble for like, uh, for rescuing, for, not rescue, but, uh, Reconnaissance? Reconnaissance, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is really neat. Cool. So here's something that we definitely know something about. Yes. Na uh, Sandy and I were both at the NASA social covering the SpaceX launch of the <laughs> test satellite. Satellite that's going to, that is scanning mm -hmm. the skies for exoplanets. And some of these exoplanets may harbor life. Um, or may have at some point. May have, right. And TESS has already accomplished this, has made it as a, Reached many milestones, uh, has discovered yeah. many planets. So this is this is it. This is amazing. This this is phase one of Tesla's mission completed. Yeah, yeah, it's a two-year mission initially. Um, they're hoping to get a lot more time on it eventually. But the the idea was that it would be a two-year mission, and they just reached the one-year point. Um, and they have so far mapped most of the southern skies. Now they're getting ready to do the northern half of the skies. Yeah, that was so exciting. We yeah. were. That was my second launch, technically. My first. My first. And we were 2.8 miles away from the launch, along with the international press. Uh, once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't even have words for it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you guys haven't watched my video uh, of the launch, I'm going to share it with you guys a little bit in a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, I tried it, to blog about it. It's hard to write about. It's hard to put in words describing right. something like that. It was amazing. It, see, it's already found so many plants already. Uh, yeah, it's, it's made headlines. Task completed its first year, the first year of its mission, the first phase, mapping the southern skies. Now they're moving on to map the northern skies. So uh, this is important because we yeah. are we have we have Hubble, and Hubble does a really great job. And we have other land-based telescopes that can uh, search for life. Test is unique. Uh, it can really go out there and scan for every exoplanet, every planet that's outside of our solar system. And um, it's using a really cool way to, to scan too. I like yeah. how it, the the it's test stands for transiting exoplanet survey satellite, and the transiting part is that it's it's going to measure dimming in light of stars that indicate planets going past it. So I, th- I just think it it's is, really it's very really cool. It's yeah, really it neat is. how they're doing it. So now we have also the James Webb Telescope coming yep. up, so that's going to be amazing. That'll be the next step. Yep. Um, and uh, here's another one. So, there, so yeah. this is another video. This is TESS. Um, they just discovered more planets. And mm-hmm. I'm going to play this real quick. This is pretty cool. They've discovered 30-something so far, I think. Maybe more. Including one that's like very much Earth-like. Yes. Incredible projects. Mm-hmm. All right, Adina, when uh, if you're watching this, you got to be on. <laughs> we yeah. talk to <laughs> oh, here you go. The transits that yep. I was just talking about. I like the guy that explained this to us when we were at NASA Social used an actual light bulb, held up a light bulb, and had a golf ball or something like that that he was using to, to transit <laughs> yeah. in front of his son. Incredible. Very incredible. Ooh, we're part of history. That yeah. satellite is already. So, uh, oh, uh, s- before I forget, I have a couple of things for you guys. So today, if the first person who leaves a comment and refers to the NASA Matchbox Launch, <laughs> Matchbox launch and Flight Operations Support <laughs> right there, uh, whoever claims it uh, on the, in the comments is going to get it. So make sure you claim it. And if you do, if you're the first one, you can go ahead and email me at uh, smartrobotsreview at gmail.com. Uh, give me your name and address, and I'll ship you this right away. Uh, and because we did talk about a robot today, I have a few of these I want to give away. So today, it's another rechargeable R2D2 bank. <laughs> so uh, the first person who claims, I want the rechargeable power bank R2D2. No, wait. Did I say no, R2D2? Yes, it's shame. 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 <laughs> Shame. I don't know. Shame. I, I missed it, too. Oh, yeah. It's BB-8. Shame. Shame. <laughs> I'm sorry, BB-8. So whoever claims in the co- in the comments and says, hey, I want this. this I'm the first one. And if, you, if you're the first one to claim it, go ahead and email me at uh, smallrobotsreview at gmail.com. Name and address, and I'll send it to you. Right. So there, now that's up. That's out of the way. Um, what else? We're going to talk about... Um, Oh, here we go. We have some ads here. <laughs> no, it's not the um, oh, yeah, Hubble, Hubble. Hubble that was telescope nice thing. just discovered. Oh, so yeah. this is really neat because Hubble was was one of the first telescopes to go out there and start exploring oh, oh, space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, by NASA standards, it is it's kind of ancient now. I mean, ancient. we've got a lot more telescopes up there. Tests, of course, James Webb coming up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's hobbling along. <laughs> <laughs> so Hubble. Um, I, well, the news came out today. I don't know if it was discovered actually today, but it was very recently discovered a new exoplanet that's shaped like a football. Yeah. It's actually the, the gravitational pull of the star that it's orbiting right now is so strong. It's actually pulling gases and things out of the planet and it has actually reshaped the planet. It's, it's made it an oblong football shape, which I've never, ever seen. It's really, really cool. And the solar system has a really cool name, WASP. Yeah, WASP 12 or 121B, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it says observations represent the first time that so-called heavy metals, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, have been spotted escaping from a hot Jupiter, a large gaseous planet very close to its star. Um, so, I mean, this is really cool. This is, you know, Hubble's been out there for, when did it launch? I mean, decades, you know, many decades now. And um, it's still discovering new exoplanets and things just like some of our newer telescopes are. So this is, um, I believe the article says further down that that's a a prime candidate for the James Webb Telescope. 
um, yeah, whose yeah, purpose right. will be to kind of take some of those exoplanets that have been discovered by Tess and also by Hubble. To search and, for light for water and carbon dioxide which yeah. can be detected at longer, redder wavelengths. It's going to take a closer look at some of those yeah. exoplanets that have been discovered. It's That's very cool. Amazing. Yeah, it is very amazing. Uh, all right, so uh, with enough of the space stuff, <laughs> um, so tell us about Orion. Your last oh, mission. Oh, yeah. So I, um, back June 1st and 2nd, I went to my second, um, I'm sorry, July 1st and 2nd, I went to my second NASA so social. Jealous. It was really cool. Um, but this one, if you're not familiar, Orion is the capsule that's going to take astronauts to the moon. It's, it's part of the Artemis missions. Um, and then beyond that to Mars um, someday you know, years from now. Um, and Orion has, there's, there's sort of a three phase testing system that they're going through right now for aborts. Um, you know, as you know, with Challenger and, and Columbia and some of the other disasters, unfortunately, that NASA has had, they're being extra, extra careful in creating abort systems now that can save astronauts. And um, just a few weeks, or it was a couple months ago now, I guess, um, some of the, there was an American and Russian astronaut that were heading to the International Space Station and were saved by the abort system on that, on the Soyuz capsule. Oh, yeah. um, and they ended up coming back down into the ocean, I believe. Um, so Orion had their first test back in 2010, and that was on the launch pad. They have set an abort on the launch pad, it stopped everything, and it went beautifully. The test that I saw, it's called the Orion Ascent Abort 2 test, um, the capsule or a test capsule actually launched and then 55 seconds later, about 31,000 feet I think in the air, um, they hit abort and the capsule separated into three pieces. They had the booster, it was a single booster um, that shot it up there since it wasn't actually going out of the atmosphere. So they had the booster and then the capsule, the test capsule, and then the actual abort test um, system and so we got to watch it launch and it went almost out of sight and then it went <laughs> and these three little dots came all the way back down and splashed down in the ocean so and this is the rocket this is the capsule and and rocket system that's going to take us to the moon yeah. and then to mars yep uh, in fact when we were uh at nasa Kennedy space center last year they give us a close tour of the the launch pad yeah um we got to see inside the uh, where they were going to build a missile. The, the missile, the missile, the missile, <laughs> the missile, the rocket. No missiles. The, the missiles. We're not building the missiles. Rocket, <laughs> rocket. Build a rocket, um, and um, yeah, it was just. I, I'm, I'm we saw we saw a mock up of the Orion capsule too at Kennedy Space Center that was um, full scale model. Um, which was really neat so too. That's so yeah, and they're actually getting ready to do the third test on, I believe, the fifth like in just a few days here, oh. um, they're doing a third oh, yeah, abort yeah. test where this time it's going to be past where they can do the abort that I saw. Now it's going to be out into the atmosphere and beyond. Um, and let's say something goes wrong just as they pass Earth's atmosphere. Well, they can abort so that it goes into orbit around the Earth as opposed to going on to the moon or Mars or I wherever. So that's going to be the next one. Getting the press credentials. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, another reminder. Whoever leaves me comments down below, the first one who claims the NASA vehicle or the... Well, you have to claim one or the other. You can't claim both, right? But the first <laughs> one who claims one of these is... Uh, just make sure you email me at uh, smartrobotsreview at gmail.com. Smartrobotsreview at gmail.com. Give me your name, your address, and I'll ship them to you. Um, okay, well, that's cool. Um, what else? Oh, yes! The hottest robot right now is... Can you decide all this? But, the Robot S, Robomaster S1. So I'm going to be reviewing this. In fact, uh, I'm going to have some special surprises for you guys when I review this guy. I can't wait. Uh, assembly will begin tomorrow. I'm very excited. Uh, this robot is just remarkable. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but <laughs> just stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to be start working on that. I'm going to give you updates, regular updates on the progress. Um, also, I hope you just check the the episode I put up. Um, talking to the Luna Botics team from the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Uh, those guys were great, very, very generous with their time talking to me about their robot and mm -hmm. talking about the upcoming competition in 2019. Um, please check that episode out. That was really very informative. <clears throat> um, so I think that's it. That's all yeah. I have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, thank you for being here. Yeah, Appreciate thank you it. for having me. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed the show, please leave some 
comments down below, click the thumb up, so thumb, thumb up or thumbs down, whatever you like. Uh, share the video, and um, I hope to see you guys soon. Um, how are you going to see me? I'm not, I'm not going to see you, but you're going to see me. You're gonna, so just tune back in. Never mind, it's been a long day. Um, I don't know what time it is right now. So, all right, with that, thank you for watching Smart Watch Review. See ya. Bye.